Hello. Hi. I'm Olivia. And I'm William. And we are Wager Project. And this is Character Media. Okay, my answer, this cannot be right, because I can't remember, but something in my head was Hey Jude by the Beatles. Hey Jude, and I remember that was like one of the first pop songs where I learned like the chords on the piano and mm. I'd play it over and over again. And I thought I was really cool. And I remember hearing the recording and when it goes crazy at the end, I didn't like it. But as I've grown up, I've really, I really learned to enjoy it. I think we. The first time I heard that song ever, we were driving to school. Yeah, it was a CD. It was yeah. like a driving to school CD moment. Yeah. Mine would be Mr. Blue Sky by ELO. Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why you had to hide. Which is just a banger. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> What's the one where it's like boots with the fur? <laughs> Low. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I completely disagree, but that can be your answer. <laughs> <laughs> that is random. I'm sorry, wait, very yeah. I, I just remember that being a bop. It's not a very childhood song. Um, <laughs> I just remember hearing that when I was really little. Honestly, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, yeah. We had like a Queen CD. Yeah. There's a CD player in the living room. Or Don't Stop Me Now. Let me rephrase my <laughs> so boots with the fur can get out. Mm. Ooh. Impossible was one of the first songs I wrote. And I'd watched Inside Out and the soundtrack for that was incredible. Dun, 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 dun. I really wanted to make a song that sounded like that. Yeah. I remember we were like on the ferry. We were like on the way to France. Yeah. And it was my first sort of like empty cinema experience. It was like the late night movie and it was inside out. Nobody was there. I got so gassed. I was feeling seasick. I had to go. <laughs> I had to leave. But I remember thinking that soundtrack was pretty. I'd go with the Beatles again, here, there and everywhere. Here, there and everywhere. The Beatles were playing a lot at the kind of time that I realized songwriting was a thing. And I think especially Paul McCartney is a big kind of influence. Um, and I find it very inspiring. Sunflower by Rex Orange County. Okay, this is from Perks of Being a Wallflower. But I remember hearing Heroes by David Bowie. At the tunnel scene. And I was like, that is the definition of coming of age. I remember hearing When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish for the first time. And it like, I reached a new level of sadness that I've like genuinely never felt in my life, but it was incredible. New emotions were felt. There's a, an artist, a singer songwriter in the UK called Sophie May, and she had a song called Lover Boy. Oh, love a boy, it's easy loving you and things. Which really hit me mm -hmm. a few years back. Yeah. Incredible question. <laughs> I always manage to like find a way to talk about the song in interviews, but like a tattoo by Sade. Like a tattoo. Is like my favorite song of all time. And like, it's so healing whenever I listen to it. And like, whatever mood I'm in, it will just like calm me down. Mm. There's a song called Go Easy Kid by Monica Martin. Go easy kid, it's only rock and roll. It's the one for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Move On Up by Curtis Mayfield. Mm. Just move on up. Without a shadow of a doubt. Bob Marley, Buffalo Soldier. Said he was a Buffalo Soldier. I've recently been listening to Fontaine's DC 
they have a new single out called Star Burster and uh, it's been on repeat for me. I don't know why, it's just, you know, but it's great. I feel like this is like everybody's circulating song right now, but Good Luck Babe by Chapel Roan. We were on the road for like, we had a travel day for eight hours. I, it was the only song I listened to. It was terrifying. I was like, I've never done this before. It was like, I want it injected. Hmm. Oh, that's such a good question. We've never ever been asked that. Damn, there's so many Beatles references. I gotta hold myself, but Ram on. No, 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 no. I'm gonna <laughs> take that back, I take that back. I have a Billy track that reminds me of you. Okay. My future. It's a great track. It's so random, and the name is so random, but Billy Joel, Vienna. <laughs> yeah. My, My lover, lover is sleeping. sleeping. <laughs> I think we're also just really proud of that song. Yeah. It's definitely one of my faves. Just had a great time writing it and kind of working it out and solving the puzzle. It's very like satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. This has been our milestone mixtape with Character Media. We are Wager Project and we'll see you soon. See you soon. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.